I believe that everyone have been told, have been taught to think before you speak. It's quite simple, right? Why I speak it about it today again? Dear fellow Toastmaster, guests, distinguished Toastmaster, and all Toastmaster, we can't decline that speaking is extremely important. You can hurt someone accidentally, and you can hurt someone perennially until they die because you speak something incorrectly. You touch their heart badly. So today, I would like to give you a five quality gift to practice and think about it when you are about to speak this anything in your life. The first one, when you are in the argumentative situation, we can't decline that argumentative will bring you in a lot of temper, a lot of emotion that make you feel like you want to defend yourself. It is not me. I'm not doing that. I'm, do I'm, I'm already doing right. But sometimes, if you think that, okay, you have to defend yourself in some time, but you have to hold it and think about it that, do we need to talk about it right now? The more you calm down and you think carefully, you can become a situation controller, not situation responder. The second one, when you want to make a recommendation, everyone would like to be a recommender, maybe like try to be a teacher, try to bring a smart quote from the internet or from the book, anything. But you know that everyone has a different background. You also have different background as well. So before you make a recommendation to anyone, think quickly, do you think the recommendation for the listener, it is practical for them? Can they really use it? If yes, okay, go ahead with that. The third one, if you see some gossip about someone, if someone tell something to you that this person, that such and such, right? You have to hold yourself down a bit and think that, am I know that story well enough? Do I don't know them personally? Do I know that story in front of me? Well, if you don't know their story very well, keep yourself 50 and 50. Open another 50% to be another idea that the one who told you not mentioning about it too, right? The fourth one, especially is very important. You ever feel like it is a bad news actually, but you have to be diplomat to communicate the bad news by thinking that is it the right time to communicate the bad news or even do they need to know now? So you may find that if you tell the bad news to someone in the early, it can ruin the all the entire day. All entire day may not be happy at all. Or rather than that, you tell the bad news at the end of the day and make a clear in 30 minutes, make a clear. So it will be better. And the last one, it is very important. If you read the book of Adam Grant, it's about the, the name of the book is Think Again. It's about that. When you are very confident with your career, when you have already studied in something very deeply, and you think that you are knowing a lot, you are likely to cross your ear and believe that you are always correct in what you are believing. But maybe, and further than that, you will keep talking, 
you will keep speaking in what you know and you will close your ear and never listen to any different idea. But again, if you listen more, you can learn more. You can learn something in the different side. Because the wisdom come from when you learn, when you should speak, when you should listen. So let me wrap up. Do we, not, do we need to talk it, about it right now when you are in argumentative? What we are speaking is suitable for them when you are wanting to make a recommendation. Do we know their story well enough when you are going to judge someone? Do they ready to listen or not when you are going to communicate the bad news? The last one, what can we learn if we stop and listen? So, smart people will be a smart speaker too. Back to you. Thank <laughs> you.